had my baby in April of 2020. It was a crazy time, crazy day, and it turned into a crazy week. Um, I started my day like any other day, um, sick, pregnant, tired, crazy. And um, I knew I had a doctor's appointment around 3 p.m. I had nothing to do, so I visited family members and chilled out, relaxed until about 3 p.m. Well, more like two something. And I remember vividly because I had the best pizza, two slices, maybe three slices of pizza I've ever had right before this appointment. So I get to the appointment and of course I'm scared and this is around just when COVID has started to spike. So you're scared, you feel like you're risking it all and you go into a hospital, you have mask on and I'm wearing this mask, I can't breathe, I'm heavy, about 50 pounds and it's not good <laughs> so I'm scared I'm anxious because in my brain it's always something's gonna go wrong and I think it's very important to always when you're thinking about things and thinking that they're gonna go wrong just believe trust in yourself and everything will work out just fine so going to this appointment I just had to keep that in mind and my pizza keep that in mind and when I got there of course first thing is you have high blood pressure um we are going to diagnose you with pre preeclampsia which is a whole nother situation so spikes things are going wrong and um anxiety spikes and you and i started doubting myself my body heavily um got there got to the doctor things going wrong and admitted into the hospital immediately. Um, after being admitted, um, I get some more discouraging information, which gives me, of course, more anxiety, but I still have to continue to think happy thoughts, it'll be fine. Um, and I'm admitted to a different hospital. After being there for a while, induced labor, and um having to i'm sorry induce labor and nothing really happening i'm told later best suggestion is cesarean that's more healthy for you and the baby um at this point it was kind of like a domino effect i'm thinking okay this is happening um, high blood pressure. I should have had a salad. What did I do? What's wrong with me? Why? Why did I do this to myself? And with those doubts, I go in there and to have this procedure and totally kind of flip out to where I need to be put to bed, put to rest, to sleep completely. Um, that was also an experience for me. Um, being completely sleep while my baby is being born that was very interesting and waking up I felt a bit more of relief um, knowing that he was okay I was semi not okay <laughs> but he was completely healthy and um, that's a fond memory of mine because it's one of the times I doubted myself my body my judgment the most and i overcame it and i now i have a healthy three-year-old so that is one of my fondest memories and the short story that i've shared with you guys